Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for today's card video. First off, I just need to say that I'm really sorry I haven't posted a video um, in so long. It's actually been almost a month. So, um, for those of you that have been subscribing to my channel for a little while, thank you so much for sticking with me. For those of you who are new here, um, I hope you've enjoyed some of the older videos and um, I am glad that you're still here for the new ones. I will be posting more. I've got a lot of great Christmas and holiday ideas coming up for you. So this is today's card. This is a great non-denominational seasonal holiday card. If you have a friend that maybe isn't super religious and, um, you know, you don't want to have like a really Christmassy card or maybe you have family members or friends who celebrate Hanukkah or someone who is more inspired by the solstice, this would be a great card to send to them. We're using two stamp sets on this card. This is the Greetings of the Season uh, sentiment set from the 2012 holiday catalog from Stampin' Up! And also the Snowflake Soiree, which is a great all-around um, wonderful winter set, also from the holiday catalog. So let's get started. So here's how I'm starting out. Today I have the largest snowflake, one of the two medium-sized snowflakes, and the smallest snowflake from the Snowflake Soiree set. And I'm going to be using Pool Party, Baja Breeze, and Not Quite Navy ink. Um, these, these are all um, more on the greenish side of blue um, in terms of the blue options that Stampin' Up! has. So we've got a light, a medium, and a dark sort of in the turquoise, teal, blue, uh, greenish blue family. I'm doing my stamping on a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and this measures four by five and a quarter inches. And I'm going to put a piece of scratch paper under this because remember, when you're stamping an all over background pattern like that, it's going to look more finished and more professional if you stamp off the edges. I'm going to start with my largest snowflake, and with big stamps like this, I like to keep the stamp. Um, you know, flat on its back on my desk um, and ink it this way. I find I can get better coverage and I can just move the stamp around or move the ink around over the top of the stamp. And I'm going to stamp this a couple of times. Um, just I'm just stamping pretty randomly. I'm not really putting a lot of thought um, into how I'm stamping this. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this big one three times. Now I'm going to move on to my medium sized snowflake and I'm going to use my Baja Breeze ink and I'm going to fill in some of the larger gaps with my medium sized snowflake. And now I'm going to move on to my smallest snowflake, and this is with the darkest color, which is the Not Quite Navy ink. And I am choosing not to, if I can help it, not to let my snowflakes overlap. Um, although if you want them to, uh, that certainly would look beautiful as well. It's just not really the look that I wanted for this card. So there we go. I think that looks pretty good. So we just have a little bit more stamping to do now. I just have a little scrap of Whisper White cardstock and I've kept my Not Quite Navy um, ink out on my desk. And of course you could use any one of these three ink colors to do your sentiment, but I chose to do it in the darker color so it'll really pop off the card. And I'm using the Peace on Earth stamp from the Greetings of the Season stamp set. Just ink that up. And I just want to stamp this in the center of my scrap of cardstock. Now I'll take my decorative label punch and I'm using my punch upside down. I always use my punches upside down so that I can see where I'm um, 
where I'm punching out and I'm just gonna center make sentiment in that window and punch it out and the next thing I want to do is take one of these silver flourish designer frames you can see all the detail on that these are from the holiday catalog as well and you can see that it coordinates with the shape of the decorative label punch and I want to do this now because I'm using my um, Tombow multi glue um, and it's going to take a couple of minutes just to sort of let the glue cure um, for us so that we can finish working with it so I'm just going to run a very very small line of glue around the edge of my frame here and then I will line up whoops line up my punched label shape on there and then once you have it sort of stuck in the glue you want to turn it over and make sure that you like how it's lined up and I do I think that looks pretty good so then you can set this off to the side to let that glue start drying for you now to finish off my card I have two strips of paper here I have a strip that measures one and a half inches by four inches of my silver glimmer paper hope you can see just how sparkly and gorgeous that and is and then this lovely Baja Breeze paper believe it or not is from the um, flower dis floral district uh, designer series paper um, which you would not normally think of for Christmas and the holidays so make sure that you check out the b-sides of all of our beautiful designer paper when you're working with it and really try to think outside the box especially with a lot of these uh, smaller scale more monochromatic um, patterns like this one So I'm going to go ahead and adhere my designer paper, not quite in the middle, it's a little bit, let's see, do I like it better over here? Huh. I'm trying to figure out where I like it better, because um, it covers up that, that blue snowflake right there. Well, that's okay, because my sentiment is that darker blue. So this is sort of, I would say, a little bit below center, maybe the bottom third of the card. And then the glimmer paper has um, a sort of a slightly glossy um, backing to the paper. So I like to use um, sticky strip or any other kind of um, extra sticky tape when I'm working with the glimmer paper so we'll just put a little bit of tape on there and then I can peel off the back okay. and I'm just gonna line that up leaving an equal border on the top and the bottom of the designer paper And I got a little bit of overhang over here, so I'm going to trim that off. And now I have a piece of the Baja Breeze um, seam binding ribbon. And I'm going to tie this in a bow over towards the left hand side of the card. Okay, and then once I have my bow uh, the way I like it, I'm going to bring back our sentiment in the frame. And the glue is still a little bit wet, but that's okay. And I'm just going to make sure that it fits nicely, nestled in next to that bow. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put a few dimensionals on here. I'm going to put one in every corner. And I'm just trying to be careful doing this because, like I said, that glue um, has probably cured on us, but it hasn't completely dried yet. 
you can see there it wants to lift up a little bit. And then I'll just go ahead and tuck this in centered on that ribbon and on the designer paper next to the bow. And my card base is Baja Breeze. This measures four and a quarter by 11 and it's scored at five and a half. I'm just gonna fold on that score line. Make sure I have a nice crease with my bone folder. And then still being really gentle, gonna just flip this over. Put some snail adhesive on the back. Making sure I put a little extra snail adhesive kind of around where that ribbon is to make sure it gets held in place nicely. Then I can just go ahead and center this on my card base, leaving about an eighth of an inch border of the Baja Breeze all the way around. And there we have our finished card. So thank you again for joining me for this video today. I hope you enjoyed this card. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And remember, you can always um, shop all the Stampin' Up! supplies that I use on my website, which um, you'll find the address for that in the info bar below this video on YouTube. And I hope you'll stay tuned. I've got a lot more Christmas and holiday ideas coming up for you that I'm really excited about. So thanks again for watching. Happy Stampin', and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.